Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Humbert Humbert. My story begins four years ago. Having recently arrived in America, like so many Europeans seeking a refuge, I decided to spend a peaceful summer in the resort town, town of Ramsdale, New Hampshire. Some English translations of French poetry I created had enjoyed some success, and I had been offered a lectureship at Beardsley College, Ohio, in the fall. Some acquaintances had provided me several addresses where I might find accommodations for the summer. My search eventually led me to the quite unremarkable home of one Miss Charlotte Hayes. So you'll be staying the entire summer? Yes, <laughs> yes sir. What's the uh, tentative plan? Well, this would be your room. It's a studio. Well, you know, a semi-studio affair. It's very male and quiet. Will Madame Humbert be... Uh, oh, there is no Madame. We're divorced. Oh. No, happily. Divorce. When did all this happen? About a year ago in Paris. Paris? <laughs> France. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle. Oui. No. I feel that it's only in the Romance languages that one can truly communicate in a mature fashion. I remember the late Mr. Hayes. Oh, the uh, late Mr. Hayes. Yes, he's passed away. Uh, how late was the late Mr. Hayes? Seven years. It's very difficult for a woman, an attractive woman. <laughs> All over the world, you understand? Yes, quite. You must see my garden, you absolutely yeah. must. My flowers and fries. It's quite all right. right. <laughs> 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 my yellow roses. <laughs> oh, and my, my 12 year old daughter, Lolita. <laughs> A congenial atmosphere. <laughs> My cherry pies. But we haven't discussed how much. 200 a month. It sounds wonderful. I'll move in immediately. What was the deciding factor? Was it the garden? <laughs> I think it was your cherry pies.